Here we are in late summer, early fall, and a surprise has occurred. This one, Lycoris radiata, or the surprise lily, or red surprise lily, has emerged from the ground is in, in, is in full flower. Now this is a bulbous plant, uh, and I've got one of the bulbs here in my hands. Uh, and one of the mistakes that people make with Lycoris radiata is they actually they plant this plant a little bit too deep. Actually, this neck of this bulb should be more towards the, the soil surface. Uh, this is a beautiful plant uh, that really uh, fills a niche late in the summer, early in the fall, uh, and really can be mixed within other herbaceous plants. So here we have Lycoris radiata again. Uh, this can be called surprise lily. A lot of times it's also called spider lily, red uh, surprise lily, red spider lily. It's in the Amaryllidaceae family, which is a big group of plants. Hardy from zone six through 10. Hardy from zone six through 10. So a big portion of the country can grow this plant. You'll often see this colonize uh, very slowly in an area. It's also a very long lived a perennial bulb. And you'll actually see this plant growing uh, at old home sites where uh, there's not even a house there anymore, but uh, the Lycoris continues on there. Uh, one to two foot high, spreading out one to one and a half foot wide in a clump. Uh, it can be divided. Uh, but really does prefer uh, to remain undisturbed in the soil, if at all possible. Grow this Lycoris in full sun to partial shade. Uh, the one thing you want, don't want to do is grow this plant in too much moisture. It does uh, prefer to be in a little bit drier soils. Uh, maybe even a medium moisture classification would be good. Here's a landscape tip. This is typically interplanted with annuals, other perennials, or ground covers or even grown in large containers.